So, Judy Hashman, winner of 17 All England titles. And she's won it. Which win of your many was your favourite or stands out particularly? I think the first two, the first singles and the first doubles on the first year. Because I never expected to come again. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you, so you're saying, I mean, in terms of that, you're turning up, you're, you're, you're 18 years of age. Obviously, your father has this incredible record at the tournament. What was it like for you turning up at that first, first tournament? It was completely unknown. We didn't know the name of anybody. There was just initials. So we, we'd never seen a single person play. Mm. So every time you went on court, you were just playing an unknown person. And we'd lost to Iris and June in the final there. And two Irishmen said to us, we will tell you how to beat the English. <laughs> and they took us, when they then played, the next, I think we must have lost in the semis, because then when they played the final, yeah. they took us off to one of the boxes at Kelvin Hall and with a box of chocolates because you couldn't get any food anywhere in those days really? except at lunchtime and this was late afternoon and Jim Fitzgibbon and Frank Peard and six years later my sister married Frank Peard. Amazing. <laughs> oh that's so nice. That's so and nice. They said, oh yes we could tell you. Tell you. <laughs> We'd never seen anybody in double serve low at you know the sure. up and back. Sure. We'd always blade side by side. Yeah. So we did win it. But when we went home, we swapped and we learnt to play. Up yeah, and back, of course. We realised that was, we could see why they did it, but we'd just never seen it before. So, yes, yeah, so it's thanks to Frank and Jim, really. Oh, that's that. so nice. But yeah, it was nice. You came, you saw and you conquered. Yeah, yeah. And we just thought, well, that's that. Yeah. And you say you didn't think you'd come back. Well, no, we had no idea that, that we were any good. Mm. We just knew. I mean, you won the All England, Judy. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> but we had no idea in America. We had sure. never seen a foreigner play, yeah, except sure. the Can Canadians. We were better than Canadians at the mm, time. Mm. But a Canadian woman had won the All England a, mm. a few years before. And I had played against Marie Using, mm. who had also won it, I think, two years before me and was now a resident in Washington, D.C. Okay. And I hadn't been able to beat her. Mm. But and she had the Danish backhand. and mm. mm -hmm. So I'd, I had at least seen the Danish backhand yeah. before I came over. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know that they all had it like yeah. that. But it gave some indication. I thought, well, I can't beat her. Mm. But uh, so you came over sort of for the experience more. Well, and... no, you came over to try your hardest and uh, see what happened. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all my life, mother had always said, because my sister was always better at school than I was. It, all we ask is that you try your hardest. Yeah, Just, I think that's a good that's a good yeah, motto, and isn't it? By that's... trying our hardest, we won. Uh, absolutely, and I think um, you know when you consider that. Your father, yourself and your sister have won together a staggering 41 All England titles. I mean, that's astonishing. I mean, you're, you're Badminton's first family, really. Yeah. Um, how much pride does that give you when you think about not just your own achievements, but the fact your father and your sister and, and you're able to share that with them? Well, it's nice to share it with them, but I'm not a sort of person who wants... I don't like being recognised anywhere. Really? So it's more like it's, your achievements are for you yeah. and that's the main... I only played because I love playing. Yeah, but that's nice in a way, isn't yeah. it? I think, you and know, too I achieved, often... I found I could achieve something. Yeah, and, and boy, could you achieve something, yeah. I mean... Yeah, but it, you, you, you need to achieve something. Yeah, yeah. And it, um, it was always going to be something in sport because I loved sport. But, well, you were something of an all-rounder, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, you look at the sports you played. I mean, it's, uh, what was it, tennis, lacrosse, obviously badminton. and Yeah. Yeah, you excelled at all done, of them. I mean, at 16, I was offered to play tennis full-time. Mm. And uh, I didn't no. want it now. No, badminton was your, was yeah, that your great love? I found, I found I felt lonely on a tennis court. Mm. And I just felt... So this is what I was going to say. Was was doubles your preferred... Would you prefer singles or was it the doubles yeah, with your sister? They were just quite different. I, I mean... Both. Yeah, both, just yeah, for different reasons. Yeah, in doubles, it's the camaraderie between yourself and your partner, particularly my sister, obviously. Uh, but it's the fact that somebody sometimes plays a shot you weren't expecting, so you're constantly reorganising your thoughts. Mm. Whereas in singles, your thoughts are your own, and your battle is with yourself. Mm. And not really with the opponent, but it's how well you play on the day. Mm. And that's the idea. The idea. Um, talk about your sister really briefly. Yeah. Would you say 
that you enjoyed playing with her the most out of any other oh, partners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. What's it like in terms of that relationship? Do one of you take the lead or, or, or how does it work? Well, there's no lead yeah. of any sort. You just She was left-handed, so I, uh, my father had sort of given me hints on how to play drop shots so that they come up to her left hand. Perfect, yeah, yeah. So that was a lot of our game was that. Mm. Um, but uh, looking back... I probably never played as well as I should have played because I'd always had the singles. Yeah, yeah. And it just of takes a little bit out of you, although you don't feel it at the sure, time. Sure, sure. But one year I lost in I think the German Championships. I lost because I could not find anything to eat in Germany. It was all black bread and really horrible sausages <laughs> and things. And I led eleven love or eleven four or seven love or something mm. in the semis, and mm. I had nothing to eat. The whole so you day. were, yeah. So I was. We, we were in the finals mm. of the doubles, and she apparently wrote to my mother because by then we were over here. Mm. Wrote to my mother and said how well I played when having not had a singles first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, t I said that to her not not too recently. She said, "Oh, did I?" I said, "Yes." Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it does take. It takes something out of you. Yeah, of course it does. Of course it but, does. But uh, no, I mean, it's great. It's a great feeling. Mm. I mean, mm. we are very close. I was going to say. A huge age gap. And you're still and you're still really yeah, close. My, my whole life I just wanted to play well enough to be allowed to play with her. That's really sweet. Because she is, didn't start until she had bad knees so she didn't start till she was about 12 where okay. I started when I was seven. Yeah. And when she was sort of 16 I thought why is she playing with you know I'm 12 why can't I play with her? Mm. And mm. she was always her, another partner. I've got to get good enough I to play with her. I want to play with her. her. Yeah, yeah that's really sweet. And uh so that was nice. So in a way, she drove you on to become a better player as well, well because yeah. you were so desperate yeah. to, to yeah. share that with her. Yeah. That's really, that's really yeah. sweet. And I thought, you know, I know I'm better than the partner she's been given. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and why am I not allowed to play? With I should be playing yeah. with her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really sweet. And I mean, we even said that what the, on the, in America, you weren't allowed to play in the US Open as an, the adult one until you were 16. Right. And I was 15. Uh, when it came to Baltimore, which is where we lived. Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't allowed to play in it. Oh, so annoying. And uh, she said, you know, if you and I played that year, I said, Sue, we beat them all in practice, mm, you and I, mm. because her partner hadn't come down from university. Mm. I said, we beat all of them in practice. She said, yes, but you weren't Did she to... win the tournament with no, her other partner? No, no. Partner hadn't played it for months. Months, so it was, she'd yeah. She'd gone to uh, one of the big colleges and, and, not, and mm. couldn't, didn't play. Mm. And I said, yeah, that was not. How can you not be allowed to play at fifteen when you think of sport now? Yeah, definitely. It seems you have it seems to be strange. sixteen to play. I think um, it is interesting to talk to you about the modern game. Obviously, mm. you, you say you don't it's really fitness. watch very much. No, it's all fitness. Mm. It wasn't fitness. None of us could be so fit. Because mm. you were doing other, everything else I mean, and other my jobs. My fitness and... regime was ten minutes a day. Mm. Because yeah. I didn't have time for anything else. Mm. Mm. And, and that my fitness was through playing, practicing, uh, playing. Uh, we had one hour which it, we could practice in the local place here, and ten minutes skipping rope. That mm. was it. And that was it. Uh, and mine, you know, I never had any problem. I never had arm problem. I never had back problems. I never had any any problems because I never played, overplayed. Yeah, I mean, sure. I did what I. Could. Mm. You played attacking shots to make sure that you weren't out there in sort of yeah. long rallies and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But the idea that, oh, you must practice this until you're vomiting, which I've heard some coaches say, oh, what nonsense that is. Mm. Mm. Nobody should be vomiting. Yeah, it's a bit effort. much, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, you have taken, I mean, a baby cries because something is uncomfortable. You vomit because something's not right. Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Hashman's 10th win in the All England singles in the 13 years in which she dominated the women's game, just as her father, Frank Devlin, had dominated in the men's game. I, when I you started out, it, did yeah. you ever believe no, you'd get no. as close to your dad as, as you did? I never as we even did? thought about it. No, no. It's really interesting. Because yeah, I think a lot of children would think, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat dad here. Yeah, that's my no, goal. But no. you just, yeah. yeah. How much advice did he give, like, in terms of. Like, was, he, was he like a de facto coach or he just said the the most extraordinary things in the most easy manner yeah break it down quite simply yeah, yeah. and yeah I mean, very early on he said never let me see a photograph of you with incorrect footwork nice so and that was always That's really part yeah. of play make yeah, sure yeah. You're, because if your feet are in the right place this, uh, 
you can disguise your shots. Yeah. So Judy, thank you so much for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, to, to chat to you and, and hear your recollections of your amazing career. Um, <laughs> but no, thank you so much for your time, Judy. It's been an utter pleasure. Thank you.